Good evening, Doc Severson here for the Theo Knight Report for Thursday, March 15th. In last night's report, we referred to the S&P 500 and we talked about the confluence down here just above the 274 level on the spiders. And so this is where the 50 day moving average is coming into play. You can see this blue line here. This represents the lower expected move limit for the week as well in the S&P. So that's acting as confluence. And also we could draw the fibs on here, but that is the 38.2 retracement. So there's all kinds of reasons why the S&P might find support there. However, conditions continue to degrade, especially as we saw today. So let's move over to an intraday chart of the S&P. And we saw after an attempted rally this morning. So here is today's price action. So we went from a very sideways market to a an attempted rally which got completely dumped throughout the remainder of the day there's about 30 minutes left in today's session by the way but this was the news that uh, robert Mueller is going to be looking into the administration a little bit closer and that to added one more leg of uncertainty into the market this has been uncertainty and and this is what the market features when it's in corrective so if we go back here to the S&P again this is what we're expecting we're expecting to see after this initial shot over the bow anytime that you have markets going from quiet and trending and this is about the most quiet and trending market that we've seen literally in decades all of a sudden we're going to run into corrective action with a shot across the bow and that doesn't go away anytime soon it's like you're walking out in the woods you come upon a, a completely still pond you throw a pebble in there, you're going to have ripples going back and forth for quite some time. And this is exactly what I expect to see happening. Now, I'd be surprised if we don't retest the lows at some point. I don't, I'd be surprised if we don't at least undercut 260. And what I'd like to see, and even if you're bullish, this is what you want to see. You want to see at some point an undercut of the February lows. An undercut usually has the most dramatic effect in terms of creating maximum adversity in the marketplace. And this is what we're all about, especially for those of you selling options. Now, if we do get that undercut of that level in February, I should be able to sell spreads for below the breakout level from 2015, 2016. Now, anytime we look at the markets these days, we have to kind of stop what we're doing and look at the market leaders. And by far, the market leader has been Amazon. And so today we've had a little bit of a soft patch, but you can see why it deserves a little bit of a rest with exhaustion conditions across the board on every time frame. Not that that has stopped it before, but typically when we do see exhaustion, we will see at least a brief patch of consolidation. And this is what Amazon is showing here today so let's look quickly across the board here we have apple is up slightly we have google was up as well and is still holding some gains although we still have a lower high overall on google and then finally looking at microsoft microsoft has been up slightly as well too so no real leadership now the one thing that's been a thorn in the side of the dow jones has been the top two price weighted index components which have been caterpillar and a caterpillar is just in a big weekly flag right now so caterpillar is going to drive people nuts for the foreseeable future as it consolidates on a larger time frame and works off some of that parabolic move that it saw in 2017 and of course boeing and both of these are going to be more susceptible to any import tariffs for the US. And so Boeing and Caterpillar have been slightly weak. Boeing has moved into a daily downtrend. So the way that this propagates here, remember larger time frames dominate the trend, but reversals start from the inside out. It starts from the smallest time frames as we have a change in polarity to the downside. Eventually this is going to move over to the weekly chart if it bounces up and then also forms a lower high on the weekly chart lower high lower low then the propagation has gone over to the weekly chart as well too so tall trees tend to catch the most wind and so let's watch for this with Boeing to see if that 
propagation moves from the daily chart, bounces back up, and then sets up on the weekly chart as well. And finally, let's finish out with a Russell today. The Russell is coming down a bit. Again, this is not broken trend, but I would like to see a lower high, lower low setup and see if we can get at least a test of this trend on the Russell. This has been a very strong trend. Keep in mind that the Russell has not been as parabolic as every other index that's out there. It's actually done a lot of treading water recently. The way that we can see that is based on the energy levels at all time frames which are not in exhaustion, actually have quite a bit of energy left at this point. So if we do see a continuation of the downside movement here, I would expect to see the Russell not lead the market lower at this point. I would expect to see the Dow lead things lower. And the reason that I say this is going over to the Dow, we have almost a, a nearly symmetric triangle here, and we're going to be able to clearly see if the Dow is not able to stay within this consolidation triangle if in fact it breaks down below this trend line. So now we have three touches to this trend line at least and it takes on more importance if and when it is broken. So if we do see the market lead lower it may occur first with the large caps in the Dow Industrials. So in this case I'd like to see a retest of about 23,500 or perhaps even an undercut or a test of this 200 day moving average, which is just above 23,000 at this point now. Hey folks, before you go, I want to talk to you for just a minute about the Theotrade Live Return of the Trader event. Why are we calling it the Return of the Trader event? Well, because we believe and we've already seen volatility returning to the market as of February and March, and we think it will continue going into the rest of this year. So there's no better time than now to get prepped for all this volatility than at this event, because this is what we're going to be focusing on. So look at all these happy people from our last event. You can be one of them at the next event, which is coming up the beginning of May. So May 3rd, 4th, and 5th. I'll get into that in just a minute. Right now for members, the members are getting pricing of $1,100. So you've got until April 1st to get this price level, otherwise it's going to end up going up again. And also don't forget that the event is limited to 200. So once we do sell the 200th ticket to this, we will shut down admissions to this event. All right, so where is it at? When is it going to happen? All those things. So it's going to occur at the Scottsdale Resort at McCormick Ranch in Scottsdale, Arizona. This is where we were last September. It is a really, really nice place. And I'll talk to you a little bit more about that in just a minute. So who's this for? Intraday traders, swing traders, income traders. We've got something for everyone here. So again, on the 3rd of May, May 3rd is where we have the event registration and the happy hour. So you can meet all of us live, you can corner us in the room and ask us questions. And drinks are on Theotrade, so don't forget that. We also have a quick uh, a quick event for you guys with uh, Jeff and Don coming up. On Friday, May the 4th, this is when everything kicks in here. First session of the day will be Return of the Trader by Don Kaufman. And then we'll shift into Jeff Bierman. Professor Jeff Bierman will go into negotiating intraday volatility shifts, something that's very, very important in this type of volatility. The last session in the morning will be Perfecting Your NASDAQ and Intraday Trading Style by Tony Rago. And after lunch, I'll come on board with Fractal Analysis Intensive. So we're going to be talking about fractals in the context of what's happening in the market today. And then we'll go into Taming the Trend Day by Corey Rosenblum at the end of that day. So that is Friday, May 4th. So it's a market day. And then we will have the second day, Saturday, May 5th. And we're going to go right back into Don first thing in the morning, Probability and Profitability in Trading by Don. Price Action Intensive, again, by myself. So I'm going to be going into specifics of reading price action. Tony will go into more about intraday trading, the NASDAQ E-mini. Don Kaufman will go into the state of the markets. We'll talk to Corey for creating your game plan for the next trading day. And then we'll have all of us up front, closing ceremonies, final giveaways, and everybody is sent home at that point on Saturday evening. So you might be saying, well, that all sounds great, but what's in this for me? Well, we've got nine reasons here as to why we think this is, is a good event for you. First of all, just hearing repetition, practice and repetition over the next two days, 
as we conduct this seminar, you're going to hear the same things again and again, and pretty soon you'll start to think in the same way. Don't forget that almost all of us trade at home or in our office by ourselves, and many times we don't feel like we're connected. Well, this is where we can also show you that you're part of a bigger community. You're going to hear from others and understand what they're doing in today's market. And by doing that, you'll discover your one-of-a-kind style. This is where you form your own trading strategies. You're going to be talking to not only the instructors, but also other people in the room to gain their wisdom, get their approach from things, understand how to risk manage in today's market, play it safe and play it profitably, and make sure that you're not trading just out of boredom. We're not going to get boredom in this year's market, but making sure that you're looking for just the best setups and then being decisive about taking those setups. And then finally, ultimately, this is what we're all after is that peace of mind and freedom that all of us are looking for through individual trading. Now, this is not some event where we just sit up at the, up the front of the room and put a virtual wall in between you and us, you're going to meet all of us. You're going to talk to us at the breaks. We are here for you to talk to you. So Don, Jeff Bierman, myself, Tony Rago, Corey Rosenblum, as well as your other 200 attendees. Now let's talk about the actual location, the Scottsdale Resort at McCormick Ranch. And I'm particularly excited to talk about this because there's some really cool things about this place. So it's pretty easy to get to. It's not that far from the airport. It's a world-class airport. You should be able to get direct flights in just about regardless of where you live. Let's talk about the venue for a second. This is what a typical room looks like. And I do want to mention, I mention this every time I talk about this event, but I love the chairs that they have here. The chairs have had armrests. You're not going to be sitting here playing elbow wars with a guy next to you. They recline, so you're going to be comfortable all day long. You're not going to be sitting on some little narrow, tiny banquet chair that's going to wear you out after three hours. The weather should be excellent at this time of year. There's all kinds of events and outdoor activities that they have at this particular ranch. Now let's talk about the meals as well too. This is where, again, I get excited about this because breakfast, this is not just any breakfast. This is a really, really good breakfast served on Friday and Saturday, as well as the lunch. So we bring in the lunch. We bring in the lunch here for you guys, bring in the lunch. So both days we're going to serve you breakfast and lunch for dinner, you're on your own because a lot of people want to go explore the area. But what we find is a lot of people get together as groups anyway and go out to eat uh, for dinner. So anyway, get your ticket right now. Make sure you get it in before April 1st to be able to get that preferred pricing. Don't miss this event. This is a great time. There's a lot of terrific information that's brought out there. Everybody walked away with a smile on their face last time. We want you to be one of those people to join us as well too. Hope to see you out there. Take care.